The two kidneys are bean-shaped organs which are located close to the back. Each kidney receives the blood flow from the renal artery which branches off the abdominal aorta, the main artery which runs down the centre of the body. Blood passes from the kidney into the vena cava via the renal vein. The ureter allows the flow of urine from the kidney to the bladder. The functional mass of the kidney is divided in the cortex and medulla, which are made up of intertwined tubules called nephrons and collecting ducts, and also blood vessels. Here we pass through the cortex. There are approximately 1 million nephrons in each kidney. Here we focus on one, showing the renal corpuscle and the extending tubule. The Bowman's capsule is a cup-like structure which surrounds a glomerulus, a network of blood vessels. The blood vessels act like a sieve, filtering the blood that passes into the kidney. The filtered blood, which we call filtrate, passes into the tubule, is then processed by the nephron and will ultimately become urine. Each tubule divides into the proximal tubule, the descended limb of Henle's loop, the ascending limb of Henle's loop, the distal convoluted tubule, and the collecting duct. We will now look at the transport of sodium and water in each region by travelling through the nephron. The proximal tubule initiates at the Bowman's capsule. 65% of filtrate moves from the proximal tubule back into the blood. This process is called reabsorption. The movement of water occurs secondary to that of sodium and other osmolites. The movement of sodium from the tubular fluid into the cell is mediated by a battery of sodium-coupled exchanges, which move sodium and hydrogen in opposite directions across the cell wall. Consequently, the reabsorption of sodium largely occurs in exchange for the secretion of hydrogen into the filtrate. Water reabsorption occurs through the water channels aquaporin 1 and 7. As the nephron leaves the cortex and descends into the renal medulla, the reabsorption of water and sodium are separated. This happens because the ascending and descending limbs of Henle have different permeabilities for water and sodium. The descending limb of the loop of Henle has a relatively low permeability to sodium but a high permeability to water due to the presence of aquaporin 1 channels. In the ascending limb, sodium, potassium and chloride are transported from the luminal fluid into the cell via the co-transporter in a ratio of 1 to 1 to 2. 5 to 10% of sodium reabsorption occurs in the distal connecting tubule through the sodium channels ENAC and NCC. This region does not have aquaporin water channels and therefore its permeability to water is low. Here, sodium leaves the filtrate, but water does not. The collecting duct is responsible for the fine-tuning of sodium reabsorption. The movement of water and sodium from the lumen to the blood are under the regulation of vasopressin and aldosterone, which are released depending on whether the body needs to conserve water and sodium.